Okay, so these Hal Steinbrenner quotes, let's get into them. So Hal, Hal decided in like the second rain delay he was going to talk to the press, and then all of a sudden the Yankees blew it. I'm sure he woke up this morning and found out that happened because there's no way he fucking saw it happen live. Um, and then, yeah, the Yankees blew it, so it was just the perfect time to do this. Um, he leads off by saying Aaron Boone and the coaches are absolutely the right people to lead this team. What? <laughs> <laughs> Like, come on, dude. It's like, what are you... You don't have to say that. No. It you just... don't have to say... You don't have to, like, go against them in the presser, but you don't have to just fully endorse them. Like, based what? Well, based on what? And then, no, he, one of his quotes was right that as long as the players respect the coaching staff, then I know they're an okay... Then that's all I need. No, Hal, you need to win. Like, yeah. that's not... The players respecting the coaches is not a true sign of success or a good coach or a good manager. A sign of success is winning fucking baseball games, which they're not doing. It's, it's, I remember what I said? I said last episode, right? I said that I don't think there's anyone inside the... I don't think the Yankees are going to change because there's no one inside the organization to change them. Aaron Boone's not going to fire himself. Cashman doesn't want to fire Boone. Obviously not going to fire himself. And Hal is brainwashed into all this shit. The Yankees need somebody from the outside to come in and shake things up. We were talking we about... We need a boycott. We honestly probably need to stop going to games, everybody. Yeah, how about the, oh, I think so, too. But we were talking about how we think that uh, they're going to fire Cashman and Boone. They're, they're both staying. They're staying forever. They're both going to stay. They might get a lifetime contract. We're going to die before they get fired. <laughs> how about this? Uh, asked about attendance, Hal Steimer said he's looking at a homestand in mid-July as a big test because season ticket holders will be fully back in their seats. Nobody go. <laughs> I'm I, going for the one Father's Day gift. <laughs> if anybody has that, other than that, nobody go. It took Shohei Otani, and like he obviously has an entire country, and an entire continent basically that wants to watch him play, to get to their season high in attendance, which I think was 30K last night. Half the stadium, Pratt. A little over half the stadium for Shohei. Shohei Otani, like, should attract the – it should be a standing room only crowd. Yep. And obviously everyone was disappointed and all that, and we'll get into Judge and Geo sitting, and that was insane. But the fact that they were only put up 30K, and I know people are still, like, you know, weary of going back to the stadium and COVID and all that, but that's a red fucking flag to only get 30K for that. It would be unbelievable if we, we started a revolt and no one went. <laughs> it's just – it's tough to reach out, like – so I'm not helping by going ticket. Saturday, but you both aren't. You both are going to games. <laughs> well, it's a Father's Day gift. It's different. My mom going. really wants to go too. She she hasn't you're, gone in like years. I'm like I don't know. You're both punishing your parents. That's what I know. Doing. My mom wants to go. She she doesn't want to. She, she wants to spend she time with you. She doesn't want to go. Yeah, <laughs> probably. We could, yeah, could go um, and get a nice dinner. I told you, like we went to brunch on Sunday, and I was completely. They were like asking me questions. Like my mom was like, "Hi, what's going on?" And was, the the end game was like Garrett Cole's down four nothing the first <laughs> inning. Like I can't fucking talk. If here. Garrett Cole loses to the Mets, I'm not watching another game. Won't do it. Be tough. Be tough for the I mean, podcast. <laughs> don't know what's going on. I mean, next I'm not next week. They're playing 10 p.m. games at Seattle. I've never had less motivation to do anything in my life than. It's to our watch vacation those too, games. so tech. Yeah. yeah, like there like, is. I'm gonna be in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, you think like that's the, the New York tough. Yankees don't, and I know pe- like there's obviously gonna be people like you guys are a Yankee podcast. You have to watch every second of every single game. No. What are you talking about? Listen, we're we're I do Yankee fans. Like we we are the voice of of the average Yankee fan, and guess what? A lot of average Yankee fans out there right now are disgusted by this team and don't want to waste their time watching it. And we feel the same exact way. Yep, I'm with you. That being said, I'll, I'll still watch every game, but I'm sick in the head. Um, Hal said he's not contemplating or even thinking about the Yankees being sellers. The deadline, I like to point out, River Avenue Blues said that the Yankees have to go on a 107 win pace starting now just to get to 95 wins, which would likely sniff a wild card with how good the other teams are playing. So, go. Okay, that's not happening. 107 wins. 107 oh, win pace. It, it's basically like 108 win pace. I know is your a six six seven. So you have to win two out of every three games. For the rest Certainly of the year. not happening. That's just not happening. That sounds so bad. Uh, how, more how Am I mad at what I see? Absolutely. I'm aggravated, frustrated, angry, but that's not going to push me into a knee-jerk reaction. This isn't a knee-jerk. It, okay, it's no longer April 20th when right. the Yankees are, it's July are 1st. 6 and 7. It's July 1st. It's July 1st, and uh, the half the season almost exactly is gone, and the Yankees are a 500 team. On firing uh, personnel in season, Hal said that his father certainly did a lot of that, but what people forget a lot of times is that it didn't work. Well, he did win many World Series. So many. How? Uh, yeah, so George, many. George, George the, the 80s, I guess. Doing. Yeah, not as much. You know, but. 
Uh, this is the be- this is the one that really just set me off the edge. But Hal said that he will absolutely consider exceeding the luxury tax if the Yankees need another piece to reach the playoffs. He used Tanaka signing as an example. Tanaka is literally not on the team because they didn't want to spend oh, you mean enough the money. 2014 signing. Then. I know, I know, yeah, 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 I yeah. understand, but like to use Tanaka and then also Adovino as well is pitching for the fucking Boston Red Sox because. How wouldn't go the luxury tax, so he had to trade him to free up money so they go get fucking Brett Gardner and Justin Wilson. Brett Gardner, just stop being a Yankee, man. But going over the luxury tax, who, who are we going to get? We're going to get fucking Mike Trout? Well, that's why he hurt? says that is because this team isn't close to being a playoff team. Yeah, so, so he's, he's like, oh, if it. we were, I would, yeah. but we're not. Right. So I'm so, not but, going to do But he's that. also saying they're not sellers, so pick a side. <laughs>